Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is an addendum to my video on source free RL circuit and this is on the request of a student who has pointed out that practice problem 7.4 was not solved in the previous video. So let's do that. This is the question and we have to find current IT for t greater than 0. This is the current IT through the inductor. Now if you recall, this is the formula that we have learned to find the uh, current IT. I0 is calculated for or at t less than 0. So this is the uh, initial current and then e raised to the power minus t over tau where tau is L divided by R or R equivalent and this is calculated at t greater than 0. Okay, now let's see uh, practice problem 7.4. For the circuit we have to find IT for t greater than 0 and as we just discussed that for this we have to actually use this equation. So first of all we need to find I0 and I0 is found for t less than 0. So let's draw the circuit for t less than 0. So at t less than 0, this switch is closed. It will open at t greater than 0 or after t equal to 0. So it is closed. And the circuit is in a steady state because this condition is for a uh, long time. And therefore the inductor will behave like a short circuit. Now if you look at this circuit, any current entering here will find the shortest path and similarly any current entering here will find the this shorter path or the short circuit. So no current will flow through this resistor of 5 ohm. And therefore we can say that this 5 ohm resistance is non-existent, it does not have any effect on the circuit and therefore we can just remove it. So we remove this and now this is the circuit. We have 15 ampere current divided into left hand side and into right hand side. We are interested in this current here. So first of all we have to uh, solve this in parallel. So our parallel will be 24 over 5 and so our equivalent circuit will become like this and let's name this current as I1 so we are calling this current from here as I1 so first of all we will calculate I1 by CDR okay so we were here actually here so now by CDR we need to find this current I1 current division rule we know that in current division rule we divide the total current that is 15 ampere by total resistance that is 24 plus this thing and multiply by opposite arm. We want to find the current here so we will multiply by opposite arm 24 and this comes to be 25 divided by 2 ampere or 12.5 ampere this is I1. Now we found the total current I1, we need to find this part only. So again we will use uh, CDR, I1 we have found. Here also we will divide it into two parts to find the current in this branch only. So again by using CDR, uh, this is the current, total current divided by total resistance 12 plus 8 and multiplied by opposite arm. We need to find it here, so opposite arm is 8, so 8 and so I0 is 5 ampere. So I hope this uh, is clear. Now those of you who have difficulty, there is another way of doing this, that the upper circuit we can represent it by, um, uh, from delta we convert it into star, so we will get this type of a circuit. We are interested in this branch. But first of all, to find total current, we have to um, make this parallel, solve this in parallel. So solving these two in parallel, we get 24 over 25. So this is the parallel branch and this is the upper one. 
so the total uh, resistance in this branch will be uh, 120 over 25 that is 24 over 5 and from here uh, like we did uh, by CDR we can find the current I1 in this branch and then from I1 sorry this I1 uh, will get same answer and from here then we can find I0 uh, current but I think this is easier so you should stick to this if possible okay so I0 we have found now we need to find tau so tau we know is L over R we have to find the equivalent R now at t greater than 0 this is open so this portion goes out so this is the circuit that is uh, available to us now to find R and the technique is that from the inductor you put your I at the inductor and look the whole circuit so if you do that your circuit will look something like this we are looking from here these two are now in series so it will be 20 in parallel with 5 and so these two solving in parallel will be 4 we are still looking from here so 4 is the equivalent resistance or R so R equivalent or R is uh, 4 ohm and now we plug in this 4 in, into this formula so tau will L over R, L from the circuit is 2 Henry. So 2 divided by 4 is 1 over 2 seconds tau. And now we just plug in the values in this formula. I0 we have found to be 5 ampere. E raised to the power minus T divided by tau 1 over 2. And this after manipulating it you will get 5 E raised to the power minus 2 T ampere. So this is the current that uh, we want so this is the final answer so i hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve this type of problem thank you